Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Today we're going to go over creating a PayPal button to add to your Facebook, website, YouTube, etc. And this could be if you want someone to be able to buy something right now, like a painting, you can create a button for that. Or if you want someone to be able to donate to you, and you can also do a subscription, an installment plan, etc. Okay, so let's say you're maybe adding a donate button to your YouTube. So first of all, you would log into your PayPal. You go to tools here and you go to PayPal buttons. This is where this page is. You click on this page and it's going to take you to this. Then you're going to click on donate for that particular button, of course. And then it's pretty easy from there. You're going to just fill it out. So I want English. You can use your own button image if you want. Continue. Your purpose, let's say art supplies. You don't have to put anything in there, okay? Let your donors choose specific programs. Let's say no, good. Now continue. And I set it up for any amount, but you can do an exact amount if you want. And let donors do uh, monthly recurring donations. I would absolutely check yes continue. Now here is where if you want their mailing address, like let's say you're doing donations and you're going to send them a thank you card, you can put yes. Um, optional note, I would put yes. And then this would be if after someone does a dono, you want to take them to a specific page on your site or maybe a specific YouTube video thanking them, you could put something in here or in here, right? That would be awesome. Now, or leave it all blank. <laughs> Finish and get code. Okay. So this is, if you have a website that you're putting it on, this is where this would go. We're not putting this on a website. So we're going to do a shareable URL. Here's your link. All you do is you're going to copy this, and then you go ahead and paste it into the description of your video or wherever you would like to put it. Now I'm going to show you what that button would look like. Here we are on my channel on one of my videos. And if you scroll down in the description here, see it says donate via PayPal. Click that. And this is what my donation page looks like. So the person can put in whatever they want. You know, I'm going to donate $10. And they could make this a monthly donation, etc. And here is also another cool thing is people can either donate with PayPal or they can do it with a debit or credit card. They don't even have to have a PayPal account. So that is very cool. Definitely a useful feature there. All right, now I'm going to show you how to create a button if you want to, say, put up a painting for sale or maybe sell tickets to an art show you're having or something like that. In this case, I would use the Buy Now button. You can click on that. This will take you to a little bit of a different page here. So first of all, choose a button type, buy now. Now you have item name here. Let's say you are selling tickets to an art show you're having. So I'm going to put MMG Christmas Art Show here and it's $10 per person. All right. Now we're not putting this on a website. We're not embedding this into a website. So you're going to completely leave this customized button section empty. You're not going to do anything in there. That is only if you're putting a code into a website. Shipping, we don't have shipping here, we don't have tax, etc. Well, now, this is an important point though, uh, down here under customize advanced features, because what if I want the person to be able to order 10 tickets? Here is the feature for let your customer change order quantities. Set that to yes. Now, if you're selling one painting, obviously you wouldn't need this button, but maybe you put a link up somewhere saying, um, order a commission 12 by 12 painting, you know, holiday special, only $100. And you want the person to be able to order as many as they want. So you can change that to yes. And here also you can do special instructions. Um, if you need the customer shipping address, that would be down here. And once again, to take someone to a specific URL when they um, either finish their checkout or cancel their checkout. So that could be something you can take them to a, a page on your website that's like a thank you page or whatnot. 
or a are you sure you want to cancel your order page whatever you would like to do okay now we're going to click create button once again it will give you the code here for your website if we're not embedding this into our website we're putting it maybe on on YouTube we're going to click the email option and then we're going to copy and paste this link wherever we want and that will take the person to the page to buy that so we're going to go ahead and see where this link takes us let's go back to this page this is how this link will now look so as you can see as opposed to the donate link it has a specific item description it has a specific price and then it has the quantity box here as well where the person can put in whatever their quantity which is different from the donate button all right guys i hope this was helpful so that's two ways to create the buttons i recommend just checking playing around on that button page and seeing what types of different buttons you may want to create maybe you want to create a button for people to subscribe to something and give you a monthly amount. Um, there's also Patreon, which you would use for that, probably more so. But if you didn't want to do Patreon, but you just want people to be able to give you a monthly um, amount, you can do that. You can do an installment plan if someone wants to buy a painting but wants to pay in various payments, do an installment plan, etc. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.